to another Cigar and Scotch series. It's an honor for me to sit next to uh, my brother, somebody who I've, I've admired now for a while. We, we've been able to build a great relationship over the last few years. Uh, my brother, Ken Hamlet, retired football player, pro baller, played for uh, Seattle, America's team, Dallas Cowboys, is what they say. Baltimore Ravens and the Indianapolis Colts, man. Uh, it's an honor to sit here with you today and talk about cigars and enjoy a great glass of scotch. Thanks for the opportunity to sit with you and converse, my brother. Uh, talk about your amazing product today and how you got started. You know, for me, cigar smoking ha has always been a spiritual, a spiritual thing for me. My uh, grandfather smoked cigars for almost 50 years. and. Uh, it was always a, a spiritual aspect whenever I saw him on his patio was smoking a cigar. And I've been smoking a cigar now for at least close to 17 years. Uh, when did you start smoking cigars and, and, and do you remember what was the first cigar that you had? And what did that do for you when you first had it? It's crazy. The first cigar that I had, and I've been smoking for about 14, 15 years. And um, I can remember after a game, uh, you know, just going to grab a cigar. And we actually went to a gas station. And you know, now gas stations, yeah, I, you, at first you think they only have like black and yeah, miles yeah, and stuff like yeah. that. But now gas stations have it's their so, own setup. It's a whole staple. Yeah. 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 So went in there and my mindset was on, okay, not understanding and knowing what was what. So just buy the most expensive one in there. <laughs> it should be okay. Mm -hmm. My first cigar was a Padron 26. Which, not knowing then, but knowing now, that, that was a yeah. that was a, a, a top notch cigar to actually have as your first one, uh, and it was more of a nineteen twenty six. Nineteen twenty six. Yes, and uh, one of my favorite Padrones. Man, and, and it, it was a celebration thing, whatever. So we would we would smoke cigars, you know, for victory or different different type of events that were going on, and that's what got me into smoking cigars. And I would I would slowly, you know, pick up some more, pick up some more. Um, but that was a, the experience was, was really, that's what makes me enjoy being in a cigar lounge or being, being on the back patio or something and just relaxing, sort of being able to play back whatever you think, your thoughts that you had. It's very you know, intimate. Having, it, it is. It, it's it's an it's a interesting relationship that you can have with yourself in that moment because you can be with a group of people or you can be by yourself with that cigar and it can be different. Yes. It can be totally different with it because you can just be vibing with yourself on, on, on a, a plethora of things, whatever that could be going on. So, I enjoy I enjoyed it then, for for reasons of of that camaraderie that I was having with my teammates, and and then grew into enjoying it of just having that time and that moment with myself. Yeah, leisure time. You know, uh, uh, the arrival uh, is actually now being sold in Sweet Lip Cigars, and I'm very honored to, to partner up with you on that process. But one thing I love about the, uh, the product is not just the tobacco itself, but it's the packaging. Um, you took the time to create something that could stand the test of times. Yeah. Um, what's the process that you, you came up with for this packaging? Because this packaging is quite unique. I've never seen this in any other cigars in the market. Yeah. This is quite a, 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 for me, what it does for me is that it shows some, it's like I'm picking it up from the ground. That's how whenever I, I, I look at the box, and whenever you reach into the box to grab a cigar, it's like you're picking it from the soil. Yeah. You have the dirt in the box, you have, it just, just the whole presentation. What was the work that went into that? Well, the crazy part is that, so I went into this marketing meeting uh, with the guys at La Aurora and uh, the guy Johnny doesn't speak any English. So we had an interpreter and we were in this meeting for a good five or six hours going through designing the band, the boxes, um, and just really coming up with ideas on what, what we wanted to do. So um, for the first hour, 
you know, we were using the interpreter and we were going back and forth, back and forth. After that hour, for whatever reason, me and Johnny vibed and we didn't really didn't need the interpreter anymore because he understood what the, you wanted, what I wanted. I understood the direction he was going. And so the top of the box is and I wanted to I wanted to bring in my lifestyle, which is football as well, without just slapping you know, Cowboys on it or slapping Seattle on it. So the top of the box is a cowboy blue. And um, then the inside of the box, I wanted to bring in the Seahawks. So I had it look like it's a, it's a bird's nest. Mm. So that the, the cigars are sitting in a nest. So that's why I have the, 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 the tobacco sticks that are wrapped around it wow. to give it that look. And uh, I mean, it was a thought that I had, didn't know if it could play out, didn't know if it would work, but I, I shot it to them and they were like, you know, we could, we could find a way to make this work. So, I mean, to really be able to have everything that I wanted in the box and to design it a certain way um, and to still be able to do it without overpricing it to where your consumers can enjoy it, that was the best thing because I, I definitely wanted it to still be able to get in the hands of different individuals to be able to, to be able to enjoy it. But the box took time to really come together and see how we were going to do it. Um, we, we had a lot of different mocks of what it could look like. And uh, I definitely want to I mean, you know, I always look at it as, you know, and that's where sort of the name came from too. Because when, you know, I, you know, you want to impress when you first show up. Of you course. want to have that first impression. Uh, but you also want to have that impact and, and not just on that person, but in the industry as well. So I wanted to have something that could stand on its own, stand on its own two feet. And um, that's why it's not Ken Hamlin or, you know, snap, snapped on the, stamped on the, uh, on the box or on the bands. I wanted to, when I'm gone, that this could stand and have an appearance and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a look on its own. And I think they definitely did that when you think about the, what it looks like on a, on a shelf compared to other cigar brands. Yes. And it's still in a price point to where it, it can be enjoyed by anybody um, as far as what they normally would smoke. No matter what your palate is. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, so based on the construction of the tobacco, uh, what does the construction consist of? I mean, you have a Nicaraguan, I think you told me Ecuadorian as well. Yeah, so the, the band, well, the wrapper and the binder are Ecuadorian. Um, and then the filler, you got Nicaraguan, Dominican, and Brazilian. Wow, that's, 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 a, that's a great concept. I mean, yeah, just I mean, the, it, the nuance itself. Because uh, uh, whenever I start smoking it, um, I get a lot of hints of, 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 of walnut in there. I think that comes from that Ecuadorian. I, I get a lot of earthy tones. Uh, it's not an overpowering cigar at yeah. all. It's not uh, like a in your face because it's a mild cigar. Yeah. It's a medium to mild. Mm -hmm. um, the construction as well. I can see the veins all in the wrapper. I mean, you really took time to create this concept, man. And, and I'm really, I'm really impressed. Um, one thing I noticed is that you, you've, you've added your name to a list of retired football players who started their own cigars. Uh, one of the two that I enjoyed, I think I told you prior before we started filming, mm -hmm. was Carl Malone's, yeah. uh, uh, who did his with the same company, yeah. and yours. And what I noticed about those two cigars is that both of them have, it's made in the same factory, yeah. but have different tastes. And, and, and based on the fact that you chose to select unique tobacco to, to create the nuance and flavor, and I thought that was that was that was quite brilliant, man. And this is is this standing the test of times, brother. Well, the crazy the crazy. So the initial um, blend that we had had a different uh, different binder on it. Okay. And we ended up coming back, and uh, we we wanted to play with it a little bit more. So that's when and, and so one thing that I learned, uh, you know, this is and this goes back a few years to where me and one of the guys at the shop started really paying attention on what we enjoyed, the cigars that we enjoyed. And we used that cigar scanner and started, yeah. you know, looking at all everything that breaks down the cigar. And we found, sort of looked at the top five cigars that I enjoyed had that Ecuadorian wrapper on it. Yeah. So I'm like, well, if I like it that much, 
why isn't the binder <laughs> the same thing whatever, yeah. to get that full enjoyment? So we ended up changing the binder from what it was to an Ecuadorian wrapper, wow. or to an Ecuadorian binder. Yeah. So, and, and that just, and, and I can remember the first time I was back down in DR and we, we made up about 30, uh, 30 cigars for me to go back with and me and me and Manuel sat in his office and we smoked one of them out of, out of the out of the bundle and you know I'm I'm and this like you said you have you have a generation a, a grandfather that or somebody who smoked before yes I can't say that so this is something that was still new to me uh, even though I enjoy it love the love the process love the just the enjoyment of smoking cigars I don't have that that history of it. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting in there smoking with, with Manuel and I know that he has 30 years of just being a master, master blender, blender. Let alone, not let alone what he's been smoking. So I'm smoking and I'm enjoying it, you know, and I'm, and I'm going through my head on, on everything that I'm getting from it, but I'm still trying to get that, that approval and that, that thought mm -hmm. process from him too. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting back enjoying it, don't want to say anything. I'm waiting for him. And then I can remember he looked at me and was like, I think we got something here. And and I'm, I'm already thinking to myself, like, I'm enjoying it. I, I, I know what I like from it. Yeah. But to get that from somebody, to say, you know what, you did well with, you know, with what you constructed, that, that sort of just added to it. So, I mean, to, to be able to put things together, and they don't always work. When you, you, you start throwing tobaccos together, you never no. know what you're really going to get from it. So to put it together and really get uh, that sort of stamp of approval, um, w w was big uh, because I know what I enjoy, but I definitely wanted to be something with it that everyone else everyone can else enjoy, enjoy as well. Yeah. So and you you creating something to 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 to, to, to that the masses can appreciate. Yeah, you really don't know how everybody palate is, but but you're going off based on what you enjoy, and that that's what a lot of folks don't understand how creating a cigar. It's very important, and I make this. I say this all the time on this platform, is that you have cigar blends and cigar bands. Yeah. It's quite insulting, <laughs> and this is just my perspective. Yeah. It's quite insulting to present something based on the work that goes into creating this here product. I mean, from from the growth. From 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 the harvest, the, the, the cutting of the leaves and, and aging the tobacco, and you flying up there four, five, six, seven times, sitting down for five hours in meetings and and smoking five, six, seven cigars yeah. at a time to come up with this profile. Yeah. Deserve a sense of celebration. I mean, from transcending into from the NFL to now doing something that you actually love. Definitely. And giving it to somebody else to enjoy. That's a spiritual thing within itself, man. That's the, that's the biggest thing, whatever, is to, is to be able to, whether it's giving a box or giving a cigar to someone and then sort of getting that thumbs up, that, you know, head nod or, or, or you just seeing them enjoy it, it is, is appreciation in itself. Of course. I mean, and it, it, it sort of... It sort of makes me look back at all the trips and all the times in the factory as you know what that was time well spent. It was uh, because because you know I mean it, it's just like when I play ball you know, you get you get sort of assessed and graded every day mm. and this is sort of that that assessment that 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 sort of checkpoint where you're like you know what okay it worked. No, we we we're grading you for your hard work. Definitely. And, yeah. and because now, uh, like, I, like, like I said, this needs to be celebrated within our community. Uh, you not only use your name as, as you being an NFL superstar to come out here and just put out something, but you actually took the time yeah. and did the research. You went as far as growing something in your backyard and, 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 and I've seen you smoking cigars in Houston now for years. Yeah. I mean, you always had a stick in your hand every time I saw you, right? <laughs> so, so you actually took the time. You actually respect this thing of ours, yeah. yeah. You know, and 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 and, and, and it's, it's quite it's quite amazing, man. I'm 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 very impressed by what you've created. And now, based on that nuance for you coming from the league and now creating this product, 
how has the the the, the reviews and how how is the people taking on to to what you've created? Well, let me say this too because I know, uh, and you know, being put in sort of uh, I guess the class of other NFL guys, whatever, or other other professional athletes who have who have created a cigar, who have went out went out into this industry and, and done something um, in, 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 in with the cigars. I didn't want to. This is the one thing I didn't want to do is be put in a box where this is the athlete line, mm. and then this is the c- cigars. Mm. I wanted to, and this is why I wanted to take the time and and, and put the time in to really develop something because I didn't want to be put in that box. No, I didn't want to be said. Well, you know what? Well, Ken's over here, and I've had I've had uh, one of the. Um, one of the, I guess you could call bloggers, whatever. Say, well, it's a, another guy with another NFL guy with a cigar. That's not the case. Yeah, because you, I, I see you out here every day, every weekend. Oh yeah. At different events, and oh, yeah. you, you there signing boxes. You taking the time to sell your products. Most people who have that level level of fame aren't taking the due diligence to get out there and really connect with the masses. Definitely. You are out here every day when I. It's never been a time you never responded to my phone call. Every time I text you, call you, you call me back. Definitely. You pull up yourself. You don't, you don't have any reps coming over here to, <laughs> to drop off cigars to me, and 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 you no, know, you come and deliver to yourself. Definitely. I mean, and that's that. But that's that's me as a whole too. It, look, NFL is a profession. It is. It's not. It's not what made me. It's not who I am. It's what I did. So I don't look as that I am above anybody else. Anybody else. Yes. I mean, it, it, it's simply that. And I, and I tell people all the time, listen, that was a time frame in my life, whatever, which I respect and I appreciate it. It was a great time. But that's not who, that's not who I am. At the end of the day, I'm still Ken. I'm still this guy, regardless of if I played football yeah. or, or if I still played football. It's still, I'm still the same guy. So I'm going to respect this. And I'm going to respect the process and I'm going to respect the fact that the relationship still has to be built, of course.